Hey everybody, it's Val from Autistic Interpretations. Today I'm gonna to do something similar to a QA. and a It's not really a question anybody's asked, but I know it's an issue for other families that are in similar situations. And what I wanna talk about today is separation anxiety. Jessica's whole life, separation anxiety has been a huge part of our lives. So when she was younger, childhood, uh, toddlerhood all that time anytime I needed to go somewhere it was a really 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 big deal and for me to get away like to go away for a weekend with friends I didn't do that until Hannah was four years old when I would go Hannah was telling me a story about somewhere I went oh I went to do a class and she said the whole time I was gone it was just meltdown city and just was hysterical convinced I'm never coming back. So the issue with the separation is that fear that I'm not coming back. So Jess still struggles with this some when I go to the grocery store or anywhere. If I go to my sister's, anywhere I go, if she's at home and not occupied with special plans, she really struggles and worries about it. I thought I'd make a video to show how we deal with this now at this point in our lives when I need to tell her that I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna anticipate a reaction. I'm gonna anticipate anxiety, worry, concern. And I have some strategies that I'm gonna to go to that work at this point in our lives. One being emphasizing that she's a grown up now and that she's got her own plans. That That's part of growing up and being independent is, is being without me. One of the things I'm going to approach is since she has her own plans to go to the zoo while she's at the zoo i'm going to go do something i'm going to make the video of our discussion and then after that i will round back up some points and summarize at the end of this video um just you know do you know what separation anxiety is no you know how when we leave the poodles um like when hannah goes to work and it makes dare dare cry yeah or when Hannah goes out with her friends, he cries. Yeah. That's because he has separation anxiety. Mm-hmm. And when Zozo was little, she had a little bit. She's doing better because she, she's more of a grown-up now. She's still a puppy, but she's almost grown up. And she doesn't have anxiety as much because you know why? No. She knows I'm going to come back. When you were little, you had a lot of separation anxiety. Do you get anxious when I leave? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Do you know why? No. What are you afraid of while I'm gone? I'm worried about you. You worry about me? Yeah. I'm safe, and if I'm coming back, that kind of thing? Yeah. Well, here's what I wanted to talk about this morning. Okay. Since you have plans on Monday. Yeah. And you're going to be gone doing your own thing because you're a grown-up. Yeah. I decided I'm going to go do my own thing. Like what? I'm going to go see Madison. Well, where would the dogs be? Well, on Monday, the dogs are going to be here with Hannah. She's going to stay here with the dogs while you go to the zoo. I'm not taking Zoe with me. <clears throat> no dogs will be with you, so. That's right. The dogs will be with me. Mm -hmm. I'm so independent. That's right, you are. Oh, what is it, what is it? I'm gonna go on a trip to see Madison. Why? Just to just to hang out with him. Just I don't get to see him very much, and since you have turned into such a big grown up, Yay! and you're so independent now, yeah, it's okay for me to go. And you can worry about me, but you can call me and text me, and I'll say I'm fine. Will you do me a favor? What? Will you take care of Zozo while I'm gone? Yep. Mom, what time are you leaving Monday? I think I'm going to leave tomorrow.
Because, you know, it's a long drive, so I'll leave tomorrow so I can spend Monday with him. And then how long are you staying? I'll probably drive back on Wednesday or Thursday morning. Where will the dogs be? Where will they be? Right here with me. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be okay if I go on my trip? Are you going to be okay? I mean, like in terms of anxiety. I'll have an anxiety a little bit. You will? Yeah. But. But what? <coughs> My doggies will be right here. That's right. And Zoe will take care of you and make you feel better? Yeah. Okay. And who else? And you? Mm -hmm. Hannah's thinking that. She and Dare Dare might sleep in my room. And that way, Zoe can stay in her regular bed, and they'll be right next to your room. That'd be good. Yeah. You okay with all that news? Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me about my trip? What are you going to do? Um, we're probably going to go out to eat, and we'll probably drive over to the beach and see the beach. <laughs> And we'll probably um, cook. He said he wants us to cook together. And just hang out and talk. Sit in their backyard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can FaceTime while I'm there. Mommy, bad doggy. Ouch! All right, Jess. Wait a We're still making are, this. Are we still making a video? Yeah, we are. <laughs> All right, we'll make some more video about this later, okay? I got to take Zozy Bo outside. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you just ask, Hannah? As soon as I turned the camera off? What'd you say? What are the rules about dinner? <laughs> we can't talk about it yet because it's none of mama's. What did Hannah say? None of your business. <laughs> You're not going to talk about it right now in front of me because it's none of my business what y'all do while I'm gone? Right. Is that because you're a grown-up? That's right. That's one of the bonuses of going on a, me going on a trip and you staying here is you get to do what you want. Yep. You stinker, you. Mom. Whatever we do, it's not in your mama's business. I hope y'all cook a bunch of vegetables. No. You should. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. All right. Ow, I slapped you. So Jess took that news very well. It just, sometimes when we're talking about stuff, we wait till just the right moment, just the right mood, and sometimes it all works. So um, I think it's another sign of her maturity how um, she immediately tied it into um, what is she going to do while I'm gone and her and Hannah having their own plans and it's none of my business. That's something we've kind of promoted in the past when I was going on a trip because it, it kind of, she gets a kick out of it. So now she's in a room self talking about what they're going to do while I'm gone. Oh, that's perfect. So anyway, it was a long road to get to this point where it's not a huge deal. For me to go now that doesn't mean that later today if something happens and she gets in a bad mood or more insecure that she won't um have some moments of of greater insecurity or greater anxiety and talk about it but we'll be able to work through it and i deliberately chose this time frame of telling her one day in advance in the morning not at night at bedtime gives her the day to process it talk about it um, and, and get okay with it before I go tomorrow. But, um, you know, if I give her too much advance warning, then it's just too much time for her to be anxious about it before I go. So anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.